Hello and welcome back to another edition of Trogby's Guitars. Today we have a 2001 Gibson Les Paul Custom in Wine Red. This one is a player's grade model. However, you know, if you're looking to play one and not collect it, that's exactly what you want here. You have one latch and a locking latch which appears to be broken. Two, three, Let's see here. So four latches and a broken locking latch. This is one of the late 90s cases that started the craze of everybody liking these tan and pink cases. Uh, the only complaint I have on these guys is this. Uh, the only headstock break I've ever had during shipment was in one of these cases, and I blame it on this thing. However, let's look inside here. Gorgeous wine red finish. Uh, it's got lots of players wear. But it, it's still a good looking guitar. Okay, the main thing on this guitar is it was big speed. So, you know, if you like big speeds, that's great. The holes are already drilled for you. All you gotta do is put a, I believe, a B7 on it. There's a hole there that I put a, a dull looking screw in. That way, you know, from far away, it's not really noticeable. Looks like a beauty mark. Then there's another one down here that is a gold screw, which just looks like it's part of that to anybody who's really looking. Uh, other than that, uh, Bigsby's do leave holes down here as well. But those are the only open holes right now on the guitar. So if you can live with that, uh, you can get yourself a custom at a good price. So these are very well liked cases, besides the one complaint I have, but it might not even be true that the guitar also already had a hidden repair. So I'm not saying this case is not a good case to use. This has all of its original warranty paperwork and prepack set list, set list, uh, checklist, and the original uh, truss rod wrench there. You can see that the uh, lining's kind of peeling off inside the case. However, elsewhere it seems to be in pretty good shape. Very desirable cases. And it still has the pink shroud on it. So enough about the case, on to this beautiful Les Paul Custom. Once again, very nice wine red. It's appearing very dark. And there we go, now it appears the color that it actually is. Okay, as I said, it is a player's edition. It has lots of scratches here and there. You can see here. I just cleaned this up a little bit. Uh, frets are in good shape. However, the nibs have slightly pulled away. And I noticed that when playing, if you have the E string properly in the nut, or its saddle there, uh, the E string will get caught. If you bend it even just a little bit, it'll get caught in there and uh, cause the opposite of that note to ring. So if you're up here at the third fret, you're really, the note that'll sound when you pinch it is like all the way up here. So it's kind of cool, but also kind of annoying at the same time. However, in my experience, just uh, putting it right here fixes that issue. The other thing you could do is probably sand off the nibs, but that is the only playability issue that could arise if you have the string in that other slot. This slot is not uh, made, so it is kind of just sitting there, but I mean, you can bend it all you want, crazy bends, and it does not appear to come out. I mean, I played it pretty hard, but... I'm pretty confident in saying that you won't have any issues there. Because when it's there, this guitar plays just fine. But I do want you to be aware of that. Uh, there is even fret wear up and down. 
So this guitar definitely was played, but the frets are pretty tall frets, at least taller than I'm used to, used to dealing in anyways, because I usually have Norlin Air Customs where their frets are super low by now. So we're taking a look at the top here. Lots of picking scratches and whatnot. And it appears at some point in time there was a sticker on top of these knobs. You can kind of see a residue, especially on that one. Once again, the two snake bite bigs B holes. And then you have a little bit of leftover of the bigs B right here. They're not super deep into the finish and not always apparent, but they are there. Then up here, uh, I thought that was dirt. I'm not quite sure what it actually is. I couldn't get it off in my cleaning, but you know, scratching at it there, it looks like some of more of it will come off. So if you do a harder clean job, you might be able to get it off. But you might not. You see there is some uh, of the lacquer coming off there on the binding. Original pickups in here. The Gibson USA's. You can also see that it's got that uh, lacquer coming off again right there on the binding. And then you have the back of the headstock here. The tuners have been replaced. They are Grover tuners. There is the hole from the original Cluson style still visible. Serial number is 01801439. And there is a little bit of a sliver missing from the headstock there. Nothing major though. Unfortunately, they weren't able to find that. But Then I noticed over here there's a little bit of a, a finish checking going on. If we can get it to focus here going on along the wing it almost looks like when they were installing the uh, tuners that their uh, screwdriver slipped because you can see it goes dot 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 so it's almost like they just went down the headstock really fast with their screwdriver it doesn't look to me like the wing separating because the uh, separation line is not in line with that no breaks, cracks, or repairs here on the headstock or anything. Nothing too major to note on the neck. Now the back, uh, while it doesn't display any super buckle rash or anything, maybe a little bit of light worming and scratches as you can see here real quick, it did have stickers on it at one point in time. And that's pretty apparent here. You can see the uh, outline of them. Uh, all the electronics in here are stock. You can see it's a little bit cracked there from over tightening. But overall, I mean, if you're looking for a player's grade custom and maybe you, you'd like to put a Bigsby on or that doesn't really bother you, and this could be a great way to get into a really cool Les Paul Custom. Thank you for watching my video. And as always, if you have any questions, feel free to contact me on my Facebook page, facebook.com slash troglis, T-R-O-G-L-Y-S. It's also where we can discuss my best price available. Thank you for watching, and we'll catch you next time. Bye.